Good morning. Good morning, morning, morning. It's Maddie there. And Dre. Okay, we already got up. Actually, we're pretty early. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we got up, went to work out. Now it's time for us to go try this new spot, Dots. Yes, Dots. Dots Coffee Shop. Yeah, never been there before. We, we, I don't know, some people, I'm the type of person who can eat breakfast for dinner, lunch, breakfast, brunch. Does it it doesn't already. matter. Like, I love breakfast. That's my favorite kind of food. But anyway, so we ended up finding a spot called, like she said, Dots. Dots Coffee Shop. Dots Coffee Shop. So the reviews seem pretty good on it, you know. I mean, then the portion seems like massive. And granted, so. we already like Kelly's because yeah. Kelly's is mm -hmm. big portion. Kelly's, and they even give you like bread, mm -hmm. like cornbread or yep. something to snack. Another on. little spot we like to go to is uh, Frank's Grill. Grill. It's a pretty good breakfast spot too. So, so we're trying to see yeah, if so. this is a new breakfast spot for us. Yeah, so we're gonna go over, go and go over there to Dots. We'll see what they're talking about. We're gonna take y'all with us. So y'all stay tuned. We're going to go ahead and show y'all the food and everything. You know how we do. So, <laughs> hopefully, we don't eat the food before we decide to show y'all Oh, no. Food. We're not going to be got a bad habit time. of that. Food come. We should have been eating like, uh, everybody wants to do a video of food. <laughs> and it's already gone. <laughs> but, yeah. So, y'all stay tuned. All right. Time for us to get out. Yeah. Let's go. The trick is, if you keep them tied, you don't got to worry about time. Oh, is that, no, be like, oh, is that laziness? It is. I heard somebody be like, why are you just going to untie them? I'm like, I don't want to do that. I'm going to leave them tied. That way, I don't got to worry about time. All I got to do is just grab the back, pull them up. W wouldn't you think that maybe it, didn't f it could easily come off then? No, it is pretty tight. But you can still squeeze your feet. Yeah, it's fine for me. But they'll text us. Yeah. I like that. So. We're not really usually in this side of town. Yeah. So we just said we're going to start walking around and explore mm -hmm. while we wait. Exactly. See what else is around. I want to, I don't know. I like seeing different grocery stores sometimes because they all be having like different layouts. So if there's an HEB we ain't never been to before, mm -hmm. so we're going to go walk over there and see what they look like on the inside. That's true. So. That's what we're about to do. It's so colorful over here. And I like the big old tent. We feel like we're in Florida. It got all the palm trees. And it's colorful. Right, sir? It looks like how the old HEBs were set up. All right. We were still in HEB when they called us. It was a big old distance. Because they, they told us 20 to 25 minutes. So we were like, well, we could just go and explore. But they ended up texting us saying our table was ready within about 10 minutes. That's so true. now we're rushing back. They to texted me table. again. Oh, they're calling me? Hello? They're calling me. Okay, we got to go so we can get in. All right. We were still in HEB when they called us. It was a big old distance. Because they, they told us 20 to 25 minutes. So we were like, well, we could just go and explore. But they ended up texting us saying our table was ready within about 10 minutes. That's so true. now we're rushing back. They texted me table. again. That's good. Oh, they're calling me? Hello? They're calling me. 
Okay, we got to go so we can get in. We made it to the table. <laughs> This one here had a large time. You made it though, that's all that matters. And it's kind of cool, they like to text. And Paul. I don't care what the atmosphere is. You know, my thing is, it's all about food. I want to see food. So we're going to start looking at the menu. We're going to start looking at it. So. They give you two. They give you that one and this one. I got the, I got the French toes. Overwhelmed. The sausages look pretty big though, don't they? Mm -hmm. How many you got? Three? Yeah. yeah. These nice and thick ones. I'm ready to go grub. Chocolate? We're gonna make we're gonna make um for Valentine's Day we're gonna make some chocolate covered everything. Strawberries, Strawberries Graham crackers, Graham crackers and pretzels. As long as uh, the whole point of this is we're doing it together. Yeah, for the V Day. But we do a lot of things together on a regular, because that's the whole point. Mm. Is sharing the love together. Mm -hmm. But anyway. Here's the chocolate chips. We're going to do these the lazy way too, y'all. We yeah. was going to do them on the stove, but they talking about some brawler or something. I don't know about all of that. And it's whatever. less clean up. Yeah, so we're just going to melt this in the microwave in this little bowl and just get the dipping. So now, we can put this in the microwave for about a minute and 30 seconds. It is melted. So now we're going to go ahead and dip everything in there. Plus the strawberries. And then we're going to show you how the after product. This is our finished product. It doesn't look the best, but all that matters is that we did it together. So that was the Belvedas here. Then the Graham. Then the pretzels. And then the strawberries. So, what are you gonna say? I'm about to eat these, and then we're gonna tell y'all our concerns that we have. Uh, about our traveling trips, all right? So, stay tuned. We're gonna grub on this real quick. <laughs> I also wanna talk about our concerns and our worries about this trip. Yeah. At least before we're in it, we wanna talk about at least what it is that we feel, and we can see if after we're doing this if we still feel that way or not. I mean, it doesn't matter even if we're going through doing it. You're still going to have fears That's as you true. go through. That's you know true. what I mean? I mean, especially with what's going on in the world today. You know, I mean, I know me, one of my places that I really wanted to go was China. You know, I really wanted to go there. And now with the cur cur uh, the coronavirus. See, the last time right I messed it up. Uh, <laughs> 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 so, you know, with, with, with that going on, you know, that's 
a big scare for me now. For us, you know. At least right now we know to back yeah. off from I mean, China until yeah. that's kind of situated. So, but Americans mean, are being evacuated from yeah. there. Mm-hmm. So we don't want to go there until yeah. that's I believe even the Philippines, if I'm not mistaken, some other places. In some, some other places in Asia that yeah. is affected, we don't know which. Mm-hmm. We have to look deeper into which yeah. ones fully. Yeah. I think Philippines was fine. Maybe. I think I it was know. another oh. country. But either way, we're going to have to rearrange our travels a little bit. Mm-hmm. But like we had said before, we're down to roll with the punches. Mm-hmm. So it's a little bit of concern, but it's so little to us on the aspect of we just have to adjust ourselves. That's it. Mm-hmm. So that's fine with us. And I guess another concern that's kind of been popping up for us is trying to get the numbers right, trying to get the numbers right to be able to travel, you know, as long as we can and comfortable as possible as we can. At least for the year. You know, at least. Or higher for long. Yeah. You know, that's a big, that's a big factor, you know, because you got to, you got to think about, like, even when you go to these places, like, you know, you're not just going to, you're not just going to go there and just sit in one place all day. Mm-hmm. You know, you're gonna want to go here. You're gonna want to go there. You're gonna want to go. You know, you're gonna want to explore, and that costs money. So you and, know, and have I, to make sure you get your numbers down. That's so. true, and I guess because we know numbers is such a big thing. That's why we're trying to go the, the route of points and rewards to try to kind of offset some of the money aspect. Because to be real, 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 real. I feel like with the money that we have in actuality, it could legitimately, no rewards, no points, no nothing, we could possibly be, we can do this for six months. But we don't want to do it for six months. That's why we're trying to off route it, try to save however we can, and it's just, it's just a little worry in the back of our head, or something to happen, you know, like, but we're down to, because pretty much our backs will be against the wall and we're ready to grind and work and do whatever we can to try to make this work. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, I agree. And I mean, you know, just the whole purpose of us, we just letting y'all know our concerns that we've been, we've been having. That we discussed yeah. a lot. Yeah. A lot. So, I mean, you know, just, hey. It's a little nerve wracking, you know. I mean, to I mean, like that, you know? if if, if, to, uh, if I was to say something, when you look at the whole traveling, which part would you say is the mm-hmm. most nerve wracking? Is it like security? Because I feel like if you go in, I I guess maybe for me, I feel like I have security based on him and his side. But for you, how do you feel about security? Um. At least, I mean, I worry about. Do you that. feel that I mean, good with two that. instead of one? I mean, of course, that was better with, with two people. You know, when you're doing something like that, um, I just worry about our safety as we go about going to these different places like that. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, this is not America. This is not America. This is not America. So. You have to kind of, you know, you have to make sure you know what you're doing, you know? You have to make sure you're safe wherever, you know, wherever you're going, you know? So that's my concern. I want us to make sure wherever we go, you know, we're somewhere safe, you know what I mean? So that's another one of my concerns. And then my little mind things, I, you know, I don't know if y'all know, but I love to work out. You know, oh, yeah. that's my thing nowadays, you know, I love exercising. Can I put a plug in as to why it's so important for you? Whatever you want to, I guess. Okay. The reason why it's so important for him to work out, and I really want to do a proper video of this whenever he's ready to do it, but he was bigger all his life. Actually, I'll let you say. That's your story. I mean, I mean, I mean, I was always a big guy, and I ended up losing a lot of weight. Um, this is actually my second time doing that, but that's a whole other story. I don't want to get off into all of that. And he's lost the but weight. This is his second time losing the weight. It's second time and less time. It's too hard to lose all that weight again. I never want to He was what? Again. 300? Yeah. Lost it down to one something. One something? I ain't never got down that small now, honey. Oh, too much? About 
220. Well, anyway, he lost 100 pounds and then gained it back and then lost it again a second time. And that is true. He wants to pretty much be able to work out everywhere we go. And it's a concern of is the gym, is there going to be a gym? And if so, is it going to be expensive? Because if it's expensive, that's an issue. Some places it probably is, but some places it's not based off a little research that I, like I, I just seen videos of people that was in, in, in there for an example, and paid like $1 oh, to really? go, yeah, mm -hmm, $1 to go inside of the gym that had everything in there that I would need. And, and it's not just a regular workout, he wants, he wants to pick up weights. Yeah. I so mean, it's not like the workout that you just do yeah. with a yoga mat or something like that, he Correct. wants weights. Correct, bodybuilding style. And bodybuilding over here. <laughs> What are you trying? I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying slowly. <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, that's one of my little minor concerns. None of our destinations are set in stone. Mm -hmm. They can always change, you know. So at the end of the day, some of this is just going to be, you know, we 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 try to have a general idea of a path that we'd like to go. But at the end of the day, we may not be able to go to a certain place, you know, at that time. So with that being said, we're just going to have to wing it. You'll be finding out where we're going as we find out. Hey, you know, <laughs> make, 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 make a U-turn. That's you know, true. And head on up over there. Make a left or yeah, right, front. Yeah, don't know. Whatever. You know, so, you know, that's that, that. But, I mean, you know, as, as we gather information ourselves and figure, trying to figure all of this out, because, you know, this is a process for us, too, and, you know, we just trying to take one day at a time to eventually be able to get to the point to where we can actually, you know, visit these places that we want to go. You know, so yeah, that's about it for me. So hopefully we can hopefully we can knock out at least half of these gods. You know what I mean? And create new gods. Yeah, that's so far our concerns. I'm yeah. pretty sure, but it's still like we still have what three months to go. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure as time gets closer, we'll have more concerns. Mm -hmm. But right now, three months until we do the big old leap of faith yeah. and jump and everything, this is just how we feel now. I mean, I think we should kind of, well, I think we'll do this concerns before we leave again. Oh, yeah, when all the nerves mm -hmm. is right, like, it's right there in the surface. Yes, whenever it turns into bubble guts, pretty <laughs> If you new to, if you're new to the channel, um, hit the subscribe button. You know, leave us a like down below. Leave us a comment. You know, comment down below. Let us know. You know, have you done something like this before? You know, if, if so, let us know how you know you went about doing your travels around the world or whatnot. All right. Have a nice day. <laughs>